Welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2. Today we're going to be getting on the air inks in Wild Canyon, our first treasure hunting level. So first, let's start with the first mission. So, one of the main tricks that I can give in this mode is to just try and cover as much ground as possible at all times. Because you don't need to get very lucky, like I did right there. But you just need to scour the stage as much as possible. Now, there are some tricky spots that the Emerald could be in, although this isn't one of them. So, what I recommend is usually I just ignore the bottom part of this level if you don't see a blink. And then come up to these sections, so it's not over here, so then I immediately fly over here to see if the piece over here. So, get a blink. I see that it's up here, then just go and grab it. And it's pretty simple. This level actually does have a pretty tight time requirement, but it's so short that you can get away with it. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, mission two. Collect a hundred rings. So these are kind of kind of difficult in knuckle stages. Because you need to get as many rings as possible as quickly as possible. And there's really not like a crazy amount of rings, but so first, obviously, go to all these pillars, oh, and collect all the rings, because that'll get you a decent bit of the way there. And you can afford to miss a couple, but you really want to get most, the vast majority of them. Okay. So after you have that, head up here. Because on this top platform you get most of the rest. And then on top of this pillar is where you can finish it out. So actually, I guess you do need all of the rings down below if you want to complete it in the exact same way I did. But it's really not, it's not that bad. You can figure it out. And you can, you can find like two more rings somewhere. But, I recommend just doing it how I did it. Okay, third mission, find the lost chow. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Just know where the chow is. So, ride that thing up a little bit, go up. Up to the left. And then... Actually, went the complete wrong way, but that's alright. So just go up to these, these iron boxes right here. Destroy them. Jump into the painting. And then you will need the Mystic Melody power up, but you should already have that by now. So yeah, just, just activate it a couple times and then you'll be dropped right in on top of him. I found him. Alright, let's see if we're quick enough. And we were. Yeah, this is perfect. Obviously you'll know if it's quick enough because I'll have the requirements on screen. Mission 4, collect the emerald pieces in 2 minutes or less. Okay, that is, that's really weird. I have the same pieces that I did. That's the same starting piece I did on the first mission. That's crazy. <laughs> that's really rare, because there's quite a few pieces that these can spawn in. Wait. Okay, wait, wait. It's closer. Where is it? It's probably in this enemy. If I had to guess. Yep. Come on now, give it to me. Thank you. So, same rules apply as the first mission. Just cover as much ground as possible as quickly as possible. Don't see it blinking. Just go through the rest of the level. If it's not up here, then go back down to the bottom. Yep, and then here it is. It might take a few tries, but you'll figure it out. Just the exact same as mission one. Nothing too crazy. Boom. Yeah, this is perfect. Now finally, mission five, hard mode. So this one is very interesting because the emerald pieces don't actually change locations. You just have to know where they are. So you're gonna wanna come to this platform over here and use the sunglasses. And then that will boost you right into that one. 
So then you want to come over here to the side with the Sphinx statue. Wait, that's the wrong side. So you want to come over here to with the Sphinx statue. And this one is pretty easy to understand how to get. You just need to time a jump well. Okay. Unlike what I'm doing. Oh my word. See, my problem is I'm actually jumping too like early. I'm trying to cut it too close. The window, it's a bit more than you think. And then finally, there's a painting right here that you can dig into. And you'll want to go counterclockwise and then into the middle. It's closer. And then it's right there. I found them. Let's see if we're quick enough. A rank, let's go. And another emblem. Alright, well, thanks for watching everybody. That's been how to get all the A ranks on Wild Canyon. It's still pretty simple because it's some of the easier stages in the game, but next time we'll be tackling Prison Lane for Tails. So, like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and thanks. Goodbye.